Well, I can only tell you that uh, when the Depression started, say, in 1929, I was uh, one year old. <laughs> so over the years that the, we had the Depression, which in my, lasted almost uh, through to, uh, until the war, uh, my mother's key salutation when she met a friend on the street was whether her husband was working, whether he still had a job. That was my recollection of the Depression. I think later on I realized it was a Depression era. The only thing that I can really remember is that we had a, a wagon and we went to get coal for our coal stove. And we just walked and I don't even remember where we got this, but you know, we just pulled the wagon Somebody filled it with coal, and then we went back, and we were able to have coal for our coal stove. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Well, precisely, I remember the day of uh, Pearl Harbor because uh, my father was taking us uptown. We heard on the radio that Pearl Harbor had been attacked. That was a sad day. It was a very sad day, Pearl Harbor. I remember hearing about it, not even knowing where Pearl Harbor was. There were some some uh, people who had sons who went to war, and they would hang up um, stars on a, a cloth in the window, indicating that they had a son in service. And I remember we also had war bonds, and you would buy some stamps, you know, and fill up a little stamp book until you reached uh, 1875, I think, at that time, and you'd get a $25 bond. They were pressuring uh, the bond selling at that time. But there were, you know, many of my friend's brothers who were in service. We had rationing. We had food rationing. And I remember we had rationing on uh, shoes and clothing. Well, what happened was that we all cheered. In fact, uh, President Truman made the announcement uh, at 7 p.m. So that we were eating breakfast at the time, not breakfast, but uh, dinner at the time, the family and I. Uh, I immediately I had, uh, had set up with my friends about that we would go to New York City if, uh, when the war ended and spend the night there. And that's what we did. We, it was a pretty joyous time. Very joyous. Uh, a lot of happiness, thousands of people, millions of people, and uh, it's a great place to be for that this celebration. During my youth, my best friend was Anne McKinley. She lived down the street from us. We mostly went out on the, on the weekends. We'd go to dances. That was the big thing at that time, doing dancing. We'd go to the movies. And I think I remember only paying about 11 cents to go into a movie and you'd have a double feature. We did have a player piano, and that was fun because you'd put in the piano rolls. I did not play any instruments, I did not. The Italian teacher took us to uh, an Italian opera. It's one of the pluses of belonging to this Italian club. That was the first opera, yes. I think it was Madame Butterfly. As a kid, I liked to read books. And as an adult, I also like reading. I'm an avid reader. Like Anne of Green Gables, you know, little stories like that. We were all Democrats. Eventually, I became a Republican. FDR was a fine, he was, he was my parents' hero, yeah. Well, of course, uh, he took the world, out of the uh, country, out of depression, and uh, handling of the war was so victorious. I, I learned cooking 
at school as well because when I was in seventh grade we had a cooking class and each week a group would learn how to do some cooking and then whatever you cooked you'd go into another little room where it was set up a little dining area and you'd eat what you cooked and I enjoy cooking today as well but then, of course, I learned to drive. I got my license and so forth, but I really didn't have a tremendous access. It was a one-car family at the time. Well, they owned a, a, a Buick. It was my father's first car. It was a 1936 Buick. He bought it in 1938. It was a great vehicle. It lasted all through the war. And in 1946, right after the war, he had it traded in and uh, got a new car. We did not really have any rules on dating. We just kind of knew enough to be home at a certain time. I don't think we needed any rules. My relationship with my parents was excellent. We had a, a warm family relationship. Well, the main thing was knowing the value of work, the value of hard work, the devotion to one's employee, employer, I should say, devotion to one's employer, and uh, that remains forever. My first job was after school, and it was listed on the board in high school, and it worked, it was for Hattie Carnegie perfume, and it was just uh, a couple of hours after school and all day Saturday. And what we did was put labels on the perfume bottles that said Hattie Carnegie and wrap the neck of the perfume bottle with a gold cord. So that was my job that was sponsored by a high school. <laughs> 